So let me show you the best ways for you to use subdomains on your business. Now, the first way that you can use subdomains is if you have a business with lots and lots of products, what you can do is have one main domain and subdomains for each different product, each different section of your business. The second way is for you to target specific niches in specific markets. So let's say you have a business here in the US and you want to start selling your product in other countries. Uh, for example, Mexico. What you can do is create a funnel, create a website, translate everything into Spanish and connect a Spanish subdomain. Your website should look something like Spanish.yourwebsite.com. The third way is to use it as support. You're going to make your customer's life so much easier if you have one support page with all the material, all the support they need, like a chat system, a ticket system, easy and fast to find. Now, the fourth way, which I think is the best and most effective way to use subdomains is for you to create a sale funnel, right? Let's say you have your website. Your website isn't going to make any sales. Your website is like your digital card online. That's it. So what you can do is create different sales funnels to start promoting your business online, to start capturing leads and to start making sales. The problem is that we marketers know that creating one sales funnel isn't really going to help. What you need to do is create different sales funnels and test whichever one works best, test which offer works best, which copy, which videos. So if you were to buy a domain for each one of these funnels, you would spend so much money buying domains. What what you can do is have one domain and connect subdomains in each one of these funnels. And last but not least, SEO. You can actually use subdomains to rank your pages higher. If you use subdomains to create a blog, for example, you can start posting content related to the keywords that you want to rank. So whenever somebody searches up uh, a page or a website on Google, you're most likely to rank if you optimize your blog for that subdomain.